Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.14.2. On the screen here it says 1.13.2. Well that's because this is the 1.14.2 video. I can't put this video right here until after this tutorial is uploaded. But nevertheless we are going to be going over everything you need to know to get Forge up and running in 1.14.2. But first we do have a much more sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown of XYZ slash Apex to get an incredible modded Minecraft server running Forge 1.14.2 in just one click. Yep, you heard that right, just one click to set up a modded server with Apex Minecraft hosting running Forge 1.14.2. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com, so if you were looking for an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft hosting is the way to go. Check them out at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing you need to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is basically our guide on how to install Forge in Minecraft, but most importantly, if you're watching this video, we're going to go through this, so you want to just click the green Download Forge button in the center of the screen. It will then take you off to the Minecraft Forge download page here, but if you notice, it says 1.13.2. This is not a problem. Just make sure on the left-hand side, you click plus on 1.14, and then click on 1.14.2 there. Eventually, you will just land on this 1.14.2 page, but it is important to make sure that it does say MC 1.14.2 there, and if it doesn't, just click on 1.14 over here on the left-hand side, and then click on 1.14.2. And then it will open up this handy download page where you want to click on the installer download right here. At this point, it will go ahead and download Forge in the bottom left. It might take you off to something like Add Focus. If that's the case, go ahead and don't click anything on that page. Just click Skip Add in the top right. Currently, Forge isn't using Add Focus because they had basically Patreon support to not need it. However, if in the future it does take you off to an Add Focus page, just click the red Skip button in the top right after it appears after five seconds. Nevertheless, Forge downloads in the bottom left here. We do need to still keep the file, and as long as it starts with Forge and ends with .jar, we can do that. We can click Keep. Now at that point, it would go ahead and download. If you are on Mozilla Firefox, it's opened up in the center of the screen and you need to save the file in the center of the screen. Now at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and on our desktop, we have Forge 1.14.2. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries. Click the little Windows icon, it's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and then type in Downloads. Then you'll have a downloads folder here. Click on that and in this downloads folder, once it opens up, it opened up on my second monitor. Once you have this downloads folder open, take a 1.14.2 Forge and drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it's on your desktop, you can right click on it and then click on open with and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. What if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary though? Or what if you have it and uh, it doesn't work when you click on it? It doesn't work. Well, we have a solution for you. Go back to the description of this video and go to the download Java link. This is our in-depth tutorial on downloading Java and getting everything set up for Minecraft. That's what it's dedicated for. So this walks you through how to do everything, get the Java development kit, which you do need in order to download and run not only Forge, but Optify and a Minecraft server, anything and everything with Minecraft, you do need this. Now, if you do that and it still doesn't work, we do have the JAR fix, which has helped nearly 80,000 people repair the JAR files on their computer. It is a custom program that just goes through and repairs the JAR files on your computer. It's very quick and very easy, and this tutorial does walk you through how to use it. Nevertheless, after you've got that, you should finally be able to right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. Then it will go ahead and open up the awesome installer for Forge here, where we can click on Install Client and then click OK. It will then go through, download some things, and do some stuff, and it will save Forge to successfully install. Now, if this doesn't work, if it errors out in this process, you just need to go play Minecraft 1.14.2 with no mods, no Optifine, nothing. Just go play Minecraft 1.14.2, open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and then Forge will be able to install through the installer. But as you can see, it is finishing up here, and once it does, it will go ahead and say, successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.14.2. And once you've done that, you're done. So we can go ahead and click OK here. Now we don't want to go ahead and just slam the play button in the Minecraft launcher. We need to open up the Minecraft launcher and make sure that we do have the correct profile selected. So to do that, once you're in the Minecraft launcher, click the little green arrow here next to the play button. See that little green arrow? And then you should have a Forge profile, as we do. Forge, and then it says 1.14.2 Forge under it. So we know that's the correct one. You can go ahead and click on that and click play if you have it. However, what if you don't have that? Well, no worries. Click the three lines up here in the top right, and then click on launch options. Then click on add new right here. See this add new button? Now, you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? 
that because that is our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have incredible grief protected survival with player based economy, an awesome medieval quest based survival server, and an awesome custom Skyblock server. We literally have it all over on play.breakdowncraft.com. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Nevertheless, once you've named your profile here, we want to find version. And then we want to click this drop down box next to version. In here, you should have release 1.14.2 forge and there it is release 114.2 dash forge click on that and then go ahead and change your resolution if you want i'm changing mine just so you'll be able to see once we get in game but you don't have to do that now we can go ahead and click save come back over to the news tab click the little green arrow next to the play button and click on the profile we created so in our case play.breakdowncraft.com there whatever you name yours it's fine make sure it says 1.14.2 dash forge under it and then click play it'll then go through download some stuff and do some things and it should open up forge in 1.14.2 now, if you do have a crash, if you do have issues, if, for example, we had a crash when we were testing this earlier because there was mods in our mods folder. Now, I know that sounds a little weird, but we had some 113.2 mods in our mods folder, and it didn't like that. So make sure your mods folder is cleared out of all previous generation mods, and uh, then you'll be good to go and be able to launch on up as we are right now. So once we launch in game, we'll be able to see warning, forge beta, and forge is in beta. It is going to have bugs. It is going to be an issue, and while forge development is going faster than it's ever went in the past, that is something we do need to mention here. We do have the mods tab. We can see that Forge is down there. And at this point, you're probably like, well, how do I add mods to Minecraft? Well, I'm gonna show you that in a separate video that you can check out the eye at the top of your screen. We go over exactly how to install mods in Forge 1.14.2. Every step of the way, we cover it all, including how to find mods, how to get the correct version of mods. For example, you don't wanna use 1.13.2 mods and 1.14.2 because it won't work. All of that stuff is covered and more in that video. So go check that out again, the eye at the top of your screen or in the description down below. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. Thank you so, so much for watching. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Grief protected survival. Incredible custom skyblock. So again, come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. The best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Anyway, I'm rambling at this point. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.